John here guys and today we are talking about the new jumper receiver. Now this new jumper receiver uses an FR Sky D16 uh, protocol and is very nice and tiny. This will allow you to finally free yourself from the clutches of FR Sky's ecosystem. Now that you've switched over to the jumper radio you can now also use jumper receiver and totally eliminate funding um, of the FR Sky product. Now, unfortunately, this is not quite as small as the XM Plus, which is kind of the cheap standard receiver. Now, this is very much designed to compete with that receiver as it's you know priced about the same thing. It's about 12, 13 bucks, which is a perfect price for receivers in my opinion. Now, I do like that this has slightly shorter antennas and they do seem to be like the, has a more of that durable type shielding on them. Kind of like that you see with the newer version of the XM Plus. This is essentially like one millimeter shorter lengthwise and a few mils wider. That's not a huge deal, but on some of those flight controllers, like the flat ones, like the Hyperlite F4 OSD, where I like to mount my, um, VTX and receiver right next to each other. It's really the perfect width for like a Unify or a AKK Race and an XM Plus. So this would hang out just slightly over the edge. One thing I do like that is that it comes with a tiny little piece of heat shrink to slide this in. I always put heat shrink around my uh, receivers and I always have to go digging for just the right size. The fact that it comes with one already perfectly cut saves me a couple of precious uh, seconds of heat shrinking or searching for that heat shrinking and cutting it to size uh, and any little thing like that for the same price that you can get I really appreciate um, links in the description below I'm not sure if anyone else is selling this besides Heli Nation but uh, hopefully this catches on and more people can jump over to something like this what do you think in the comments guys are you gonna switch to this um, this should have telemetry and all those other advanced features uh, it's basically like an RSXR uh, set of features with an XSR footprint for an XM Plus price point. Thanks, guys.